C position here, but it's actually going to be a B here. We can see most of the players now making their way into that B side. Brax there for T1 at the back, just giving up the space, doesn't want to take a bad engagement. And now his teammates are starting to make their way across. Skadul starting off the action there, able to take down Asuna. Steel tries to defend, and finally, Brax is able to make good of that position back site. We'll get some flanking here from Dicey, and he's it's all really on him. He could can be annoying there, the delay cards. them. But we'll have to see if it's going to amount to too much. I think it was really on Dicey there. He was able to deny it for a moment, but it's really not going to work out ultimately. Three people in this A site right now. No one in B, no one in C. It's a doodle coming up huge again with a second. And that is what he does. Great oh! stuff there from Skiddle. That's the third kill off the Operator, single-handedly doing so much damage to his opposition. And Under Thieves will eventually be able to get this spike down, but it's a two versus four situation to play off of. And already their opposition are knocking at the door. Spider there on the flank, taking down Hiko, leaving just Asuna. He's going to get tacked up by the drone. His location is revealed. Great shots there, but it is simply not enough. Skadoodle with a fantastic 3k to open up that defense. I think Hiko is actually going to be a huge factor in this round. You can see him staying at the end of Longsi. He has his ult still, and he has shock darts in hand. His recon recharging. He is definitely someone to look out for in this round right now. Yeah, very slow after that initial frag and a position gain onto the site. Both teams taking their time. Scar popping. Oh, popping the blades. He's going to pop Nitro in the face. Asuna goes down as well to Skadoodle with that ultimate. So oh much damage. God. He's here to play. And now it starts to get a little bit interesting. Four versus four. We've got Dicey moving into the B site. Has to dash away. They're not landing those initial blades. Oh, and it's unfortunate that he can't connect anything. He still created a huge amount of distraction and the rotation in towards that B site, allowing the rest of his team into A with that space to work with for the spike plant. The retake's going to have to come in, and it's it should look pretty good here. T1, of course, are ahead on players and firepower. Uh oh, <laughs> that was oh. close. That's oh, going to be a difficult here. thing, situation here for Hiko to hold by himself. You can see that he hesitated and has to try to back away out of that position. He's not going to make it all the way though, and he's going to get detained. That's right. They, they both got detained. detained. <laughs> no, that's a oh, given. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that's uh, that's a rough one to deal with. And keep in mind, they don't really have a very long-lasting smoke. Also, well, Flash is available from AZK's perspective, at least, so he could use those also. And it's going to be quite difficult, as you mentioned. Skadil's trying to do what he can here. That presence from Garage, actually, from Asuna is huge. But they're somehow getting the frags! T1 able to get all the frags. Defuse is coming in. I don't know if there's enough time for this one. Daze is holding it, and he's going to just barely be able to do it in time. Yeah, that is so crazy. What a beautiful round for T1. Going aggressive straight away, outside B. And under these are ready to go with those stingers in hand. Quick double for them as they gain all the ground towards the B site, but it's not over just yet, of course, as Spider is in the cloud burst here, seeing if he can find an opportunity with his Vandal. Finds a timing here, so Spike go down. He wants to try to find the planter, but Nitro is there for the cover on that ceiling position, leaving just Dazed and Brax. And it doesn't really seem like there's much left to be done here. Brax lurking around a lobby will do well to keep him, his gun in his hands, but it's going to be an upgrade for many players of 100 Thieves. Again, they're going to have to try and defend from outside the site. That's difficult. And Nitro is going to try to solve that by making his way around C window. And at the same time, Spider finding a classic kill onto Dicey around Grass. This, this is just chaotic on all of the extremities. Oh my Hiko, goodness. he's got the ult. I think he saves his ult. He can't use it here. It's not winnable. So Hiko's going to save his ult here. Oh. oh my goodness. Heartbreaking there for Hiko. That's another curveball through the dark cover to make their way forward. And oh my god, this defense is stunning here from, uh, from T1. 100 Thieves can't seem to break through. <laughs> trying, to, trying to grab the spike. One enemy remaining. But, and it's going to be dropped straight away again. Scar is looking incredible, man. I, the focus is beautiful from T1 at this point. You're, you're right, Sean. This is so decisive from them. I haven't seen them looking this clinical. They've done some crazy stuff so far, and there it is. The Rolling Thunder, that will cue the push to come in for the retake. Nitro backside, though, still is in a great position. He might be key in this one, taking down Dazed, slowing them down. Another frag goes to Nitro. Oh, he is clinical. Great trio of kills from him. 
and still makes his way forward. Oh, the paranoia is going to last around Scar. Still will finish him off. Spider, though, doing so much damage, coming down into the two versus two now. Hiko and Nitro, 400 Thieves. Hiko puts the pressure on, holding the defuse. He's going all the way with this one, all the oh. way, and he gets it. Great stuff there from Hiko and Nitro. What a retake. He having get smoked off like this, and he's going to use this cage, and there it is. Beautiful stuff. Oh, There's the beautiful travel. trip. We love to see that. And this is just so disgusting from Steel. These players here dancing around. He'll drop himself onto the site to try to proceed to get more kills. Keep the pressure on. Prevent them from landing that spike plant. Dicey now creating pressure from the heaven position. And indeed, the spike is now going down. This feels quite left. tense, though, for T1 as they try to hold on to this position. Drone coming through. Spike now just planted, but Asano knows precisely where Spider is caught, trying to reposition. Timing is absolutely perfect coming in on this retake. Nitro there with a double off the Stinger. And Brax on the flank, undiscovered, but now they know. And it's all up to Nitro as he sits on that bomb. And is it going to be a hole? He gets it to halfway at the very least. He's, oh, he's sticking it. Oh, he's sticking Throwstone it. fake. And that is going to feel awful for Brax. But you know what? You've oh. got to gamble that. Yeah, the timing could really be a problem. That's very way. important, though. That's a great hot hand there to slow things down. And that's actually going to allow Nitro to get the better timing on his flank. Easy oh. double for Nitro. And that might just be what does it here. As we will see Brax trying to make it work there, alone with the Sheriff, looking for the shots. But Nitro is really hitting his shots. Nitro won't get blind, and that is definitely a very big positive. Oh, unreal stuff there from Steel. What a reaction, and somehow gets the next one too. These guys are looking so damn good right now. Oh, that was so beautiful. Prime Gaming, surely he wouldn't be so brazen. He's getting to the corner. Steel, he's gonna try to find a timing for this. And um, will they notice it? Oh God, he's gonna be so careful. This is so tense right now. Steel finds a headshot. He is looking for a second. He'll get taken down. But a chain reaction of events here is off of the back of that frag. We'll find a spot. Bike plant from T1 on the B site. Asuna, though, with the hot hands, claiming forward position, as we'll see T1 falling back and out, trying to defend from the mid position, but they don't have the flank under control. Nitro is there, causing problems, going in for that window control, and just both sides, every single side is 100 thieves right now. There's nothing that T1 can do. The flank, that, that's never going to happen. Great stuff there. Oh, Dicey in with the ult there. The dagger's flying as the dash up drop comes through. That's insane. The right click through the cage. And now it's down to Brax and AZK. And they don't have much to fight with. But Brax sprays him down. And they're all on the ground. I have no idea where that came from. But somehow T1 found it. We don't have really the ultimates here for this, except we did get some daggers drawn. Asuna there makes his way through, finds himself two kills on the opening, giving 100 Thieves, carving 100 Thieves a path forward, as Brax is again the one to have to do it, but it's simply too much at this point. Oh my goodness, three people in this A site, the, the Phoenix ult coming in, gets past the breach ult! Oh, Asuna, he can do no wrong in this position, he's set up for success and he's going to knock every single player down. That is just, it's just looking unfair at this point. T1, it feels like they don't get an opportunity to play their game at this point, being denied at every turn. Hunter's Fury is coming for him as well, so they really put a lot in taking Nitro down and they'll be rewarded. But Steel sneaks through. They didn't see Steel coming through the backside. He finds a second kill. The headshots from Steel are so damaging. This still a three versus two here for T1, looking good. Dicey and Hiko, though, get all of them down in the nick of time. In the chaos, they will stand tall. A hundred thieves they started this one looking well it did not look good sean it looked very bad lots of presence around the elbow position and sight here from t1 on the defense we'll have to see if they can hold on to this days once again kicks it off nicely but nitro he time and again he's been deadly with this ghost and now brax sitting there blind on the site in a very awkward position back against the wall nowhere to turn nitro is just so deadly another headshot goes his way and systematically one by one a site Oh, this drone spotting the operator is massive information right now. There's the sound cue. Asuna got burned. Spider heard it, took him down. The Sting is out of the picture there. And Nitro, we talked about it. This U Haul position is a great spot for him to play. He's got the assistance there as well from Dicey. And they certainly would have heard that he's in this position. The curveball comes through. Dicey has to get out of there. 
He's having so many issues here, and he's going to be forced away from U-Haul. That's a key position to hold if you want to have a retake. Steel, though, left. is actually knocking on the back Five door planted. on this flank at the moment. His position is now known, so he's lost the element of surprise. And it comes down to either Steel or Dicey finding some pick, some damage. If they can't find that initial kill to make a 2v3, there's really no way that they can force the issue. And Dicey with that operator in hand is worth, obviously, a lot of cash. Wants to save that one, and Steel will do the same. The dark cover there is very awkward. He, oh, he gets tagged there as well. He's going to have to try to find a timing here. He goes for the swing, trying to find that timing. It's Asana, though, denying the plant for now. There's only 20 seconds. Asana, again, another frag coming his way. It's starting to look horrendous now for T1. Just Brax left it with 15 seconds to find an answer. They hear him too, they hear Scar. Oh, he's spider through the site! He actually walls him, that's unreal. Oh, Scar escapes after getting dinked there. Eco making his way forward. Here comes the collapse onto the site for the retake. Still there from Hooker, is alone against more players. This is going to be so difficult to make his way through. The 1v2 steal falls to Dazed again. It's in the following rounds, but for now, there goes the beginning of this here through the drone. Steel tries to swing the corner there to try to take down Days. The, the trade comes through, though, so it's a one-for-one. One. That's not too bad. Nitro finds his way onto a flank again. Brax goes down. That's the spike. And is very nicely in front of a dark cover for Nitro to hold on to. He has expended that paranoia, though. So it will be hard to hold on to this for too much longer, but he still has U-Haul. Spider does not care. Straight through with the curveball. Finds the headshot. And there are still a lot of there's still a lot of room to play with here for T1. What? Oh my god, that went. Well, I don't. I, it went what through is the telly. I, I it can't understand the that, John. And Spider is open from spawn, and that's a wrap for T1. I don't even understand the science behind that one. The omen is dead early. This is a hard round. <laughs> Steel. But it's just gotten a lot easier. <laughs> He's so brave, just going through with the cage delayed them so much. Got rid of the run it back. Really giving 100 Thieves a lot to work with as they try to prevent the spike go from going down, let alone retake it after the plant. And that's going to be a TP that Brax knows everything about. Dazed as well, holding on as to his position. And now it's going to be down to Hiko against three players. There goes the recon dart. He's been destroyed immediately. He only gets a single pulse off. He's none the wiser. He may be on an angle, but no, Brax he doesn't really see anybody, but he understands there's at least one back site, and there's Scar with that operator, able to drop steel at the back of the site. And that's going to allow T1 to make their way forward, but time is against them here. If someone could take down the planter, that could make every difference. And there's Hiko with the Hunter's Fury trying to stop the plant. Can he deny the plant? Oh, he can't deny the plant. Into oh, no! Nitro gets there where Hiko could not. Nitro can. Coming in from the flank just as he has done so many times in this series so far. And that is so devastating. What a beautiful play there. He's trying to find an entry there towards this. Huka position, the paranoia sent through as well. The dash up draft, Scars is clearing the path, making a way for his team to get into the side here, using that verticality to his advantage. Can't find a frag, there's just so much denying vision around this site, but he's still there, he's still creating space for his team, and he's still holding on to these positions. However, Dicey coming through there, great stuff there from Dicey, finding a second with the Operator, able to use that dash to keep himself alive. And this is just an absolute brawl for the site! And again, Nitro, he always finds the back of somebody. Dazed, able to equalize just for a moment as we go into the 1v1. There is a minute to play with. There are so many options here for both of these players. Dazed has the ability to use the recon dart. He's got that drone as well. Clearing some space there towards spawn, understands where his opponent is by deduction. And, oh, that was an opportunity for Dazed. Committing to the plant left. now. As Dicey bites his time, trying to make sure that he doesn't catch one of these arrows. And Dicey, no fear at all on the peak. That was bold from Dazed as well. And then two players around the short position, and APC Steel. He's going to be able to make some forward movement there, claiming more space on the site, creating more pressure. And Dicey, oh, the jump knife's not going to work out for him. T1 defending. Hold on to these spots. They'll throw it on the cage. Okay, Steel is going to create quite a problem there. That's a great pick as Dazed was trying to reposition, but Spider's going in for more. The Frenzy close range. He's only going to be able to get the one, though. This is not a bad spot here for Brax. He's trying to play this corner, this angle. 
You can see that that coverage off the dark cover is working out quite nicely for him as he tries to hold on to this. Net very well, the player's coming onto his position. That is so awesome to see from Brax holding his ground. Easy two frags, so confident. The jump classic not going to work out for him as we go into the two versus two. But the advantage in health at least. This is definitely an insanely difficult situation that T1 finds themselves in. 30 seconds the left. HP on 100 Thieves is so low. One enemy remaining. And they're trying to make the dash across. You don't expect to see this. Oh, he whisked the shot. He doesn't want to burn the dash. Didn't expect Nitro to be so close for the punish. And you said it was a massive risk. It hasn't gone the way of T1, but we'll see if they can find a different way to recover this position. A very fast push on the back of that kill. And it, oh my god, 100 Thieves is looking really strong moving off of that first kill into the site, leaving just Brax and Spider on the rotation from that B site. Not too much they can do, but trying to find a timing as the setup is coming in from 100 Thieves. Heavy showers presence. A Bulldog and a Spectre. These are not the guns you want to see in a situation like this. No, when you're playing this, against so much. This feels unwinnable, Dan. It does. <laughs> it really does. And there we go. And paranoia. The paranoia is ready. He's going to be able to get a first kill. And there's the dash coming through. He can't find the second. Might be a gun for him to collect, though. An operator on the ground for him. AZK in support. Spider as well. The TP at back showers is beautiful. What a coordinated effort here coming in from T1. And Skull lost the operator last round. He's picked it right back up again. And Asna, 30 HP against four players. He needs to do some damage here. That is the objective. Keep the economy pressure going. Don't allow... T1 to leave this round with too many weapons. And he's got a minute to try and do it. And he's in New Hall. I don't know <laughs> if they understand where he is. They certainly understand some of the possibilities. So we'll see if he can move between the gaps of the knowledge of his opponents here as he makes his way through New Hall. This is the opportunity. Find one frag at the very least, and he gets it. Asana, you couldn't have asked for more. There's the trip, there's the cage going up. Curveball trying to hold it. But Asana with that rocket. The showstopper is going to do the damage. AZK finding a great timing through the TP from short A. Drops the spike. Scar's there as well. But Dicey is in position in Hooker. Scar had to worry about two positions. Gambled wrong. And the spike is collected once again. Now Brax. It falls to him. It falls entirely to Brax. Finds one kill. The dash comes through. It's just too much to handle. And Asana has got position there. The Hunter's Fury is trying to try to equalize things positionally. Asana, he's going to make his way around with the satchels. He finds Nitro over the top. Oh, sorry, AZK. And Steel makes his way through showers as well. Spikes down on the ground. And I, I was going to say, Steel needs to hit some pretty good shots here to make this round work out for them. They claimed the bomb and the spike, and they're going to make their way through the TP straight to B. This is the fight, though. A one for one. Hiko is still alive. He's the important one. He's got the recon dart. He's got that Hunter's Fury as well. He needs to find a way to get a one versus one in this situation. Recon dart goes out. Tries to get that info. That cloud burst is pretty huge. He spots Spider. That's important as well. Trying to get his way into a position to do some damage, but Spider will take him down to have some daggers to work with if he chooses to use them. But other than that, not too much in the way of Ultimus. ACK has paranoia still. That could be huge as a way to initiate the retake here. There's the Hunter's Fury tying to perfection. Hiko gets at least one. Sky in deep pulls out the daggers, finds Nitro up on top of the site now, trying to find his way above the smokes to try to get these picks. It's looking quite labored at this point for T1, leaving just ATK trying to swing on the next player on Garden. Oh, again, it's so sketchy for both teams. Oh, that's huge. The paranoid comes through this time, works out really nicely for Scar as he pushes on through with that frenzy. Nice response, though, from 100 Thieves as they, they've seen this play before. The showers crunch from the defense with that B-long TP exactly push as well. And Daze, he wanted to make a forward position with a forward alpha angle, but they will spot it out. Nothing left to guesswork after popping Cypher's ultimate. Neural theft will tell them everything. And now Brax is alone with a frenzy against three players. And there's not much you can do about that one. 11 to 9 now. 100 Thieves. And there might be a chance now. As you said, they're looking for that one pick. Dark cover just in the nick of time to allow Asana forward positioning. Takes down Daze. This could be going very badly all of a sudden here for T1. They were looking so damn good. And there's that Hunter's Fury on Hiko as well. He's standing in the hookah position. 
There's the paranoia to allow the entries to start flowing through for T1. Brax opens it up nicely. Nitro, though, defending from the cubby by Garden. And now it's up to the Hunter's Fury. Does he decide to use it? He can't really. There's too many players at this point. There's too much time on the bomb. And so Hiko will just try to get that opening kill first. Maybe, maybe there's a chance here, but nope. Going round to the match. Oh, oh and he played out the same way, mind. but but Nitro's peak wasn't as good. This is perfect for T1 right now. They need this round. Steel managing to pick Skadoodle out of the air like a clay pigeon. And Steel makes his way forward. Asna over the top of the APC, looking for the flank there with those satchels. Beautifully done. Two versus three now. Brax and Spider on the B rotation. It's up to them now as the spike still needs to be planted. Run it back there as U-Hawk is cleared. Brax needs to win this frag, but that cage is going to deny him completely. Waiting for Brax to get into position, but they don't have much help here. Oh, Brax, great read there on that Brax wall. Brax has a cam. Brax has a cam. It's at Lone. I believe he just spotted both of them. <gasps> what a huge fight by Austin, and Hiko closes out the match through the Phoenix wall. A hundred oh. thieves taking it over T1. What a fight it was. They fought so damn hard, so many clutches.